I was always very passionate about increasing access to education, and I largely link that to being adopted and having that stark contrast from the beginning just shape my life. What if we 3D printed the schools? We can do it more quickly and then reduce the costs over time. That's been my main work, just trying to realize this pilot. I'm Maggie Grout, and I'm the founder and CEO of Thinking Huts. Thinking Huts is a nonprofit that seeks to increase access to education by leveraging humanitarian driven technology solutions. Traditional school may take five to six months, even years, depending on what methods are used, but we can get it done in probably three to five weeks, as estimated for our first school. And then as you replicate it over time and you refine the processes, you can get it down to a matter of days. And then also with the cost, when you replicate it, you can also decrease it um, over time as well. So we're estimating maybe our first one will be closer to 30K, which is still almost half the traditional cost. And then we could probably get it closer to 10 to 15. Since it is a male dominated industry, it was difficult at times being taken seriously. So my journey probably was more on the pitching it side and getting people to want to support it. A lot of people think it's like a small desktop printer that extrudes plastic, but this is a much larger scale printer and it is actually a concrete extrusion and how it works specifically for school construction, it will just extrude the walls and it's a layering process. So it builds it from the ground up. The walls are 3D printed, but everything else is local materials, so we're still employing local labor. While 3D printing will probably be the emphasis the first three or five years, I think that it does not limit us. We could easily transfer that into other areas and maybe go beyond school construction as well. People typically in society, I think, judge it based off of how many years of experience you may have. But with youth, you can just be very passionate, but at the same time, um, pull together a group of people that can get it done. And I think it shouldn't limit people from trying. <laughs> <laughs>